All right, what's up YouTube? This video comes per many requests on YouTube, Instagram. A lot of you guys have been reaching out saying that I want to get involved trading, but Samantha, <laughs> this platform is very scary. And I understand what you mean, because this can be a, a little bit intimidating, these colors, and you don't understand you know, some of these indicators on here, but not to worry. That's what this video is all about. Coming up. All right, guys, welcome back to Talking Options, where you already know what we do. I'm not going to get into it. What we are going to do is we're going to get straight into this platform. It is the platform of all platforms, especially when we're talking about trading options. Number two is it's also one of the most well-renowned and well-rounded platforms because of what it offers. Specifically, it's simulated paper trading accounts. So this is the account that allows you to trade the market with real-time data as if you were really trading with money however it's simulated money it's paper money but that's okay because what it's doing is allowing you to see how the market moves all right so without further ado let's jump straight into how to download the thinkorswim paper money account so all you got to do is google it and right here you'll see register for paper money thinkorswim to practice your trading strategies risk-free and remember this is the reason why i am promoting trading paper money simulated accounts because you are able to trade without actually putting your money in the account so you're able to learn how does the market move how does the energy and motion ex affect you know the flow of the british pound or the nasdaq without actually having to worry about am i going to lose from this trade so the first question is do you have an existing td ameritrade account if you don't obviously put no it's going to ask you for your login credentials your contact information address information and then there's a few questions about your trading experience so don't fret about this especially if you don't have experience it's not going to count against you it's just questions for them to understand where are they meeting you as far as on the platform so after you download it I already have it downloaded, so I'm going to log out so you can see what's going to pop up. After you download the Thinkorswim account, it may take a while, um, depending on the processor and your computer, but you're going to see this little box pop up, and it's going to say live trading or paper money. This is really important, especially if you have an actual thinkorswim account with real money in there because live trading would obviously be your money paper trading is how they separate the two so make sure that when you're choosing paper trade that you just click this button and you'll see that it turns orange so then you can log in and to make sure that you have the same account especially if you're trying to figure out if you have the same um if it's live trading or if it's paper money all you got to do is in the corner you're gonna see this says PM that stands for paper money and then you got simulated trading as well so this is where you can find out whether or not you're in the live account or if you're in the simulated account so the first thing that I want to show you on the platform is how you can adjust this number up here so when you start off with a paper money account with thinkorswim they give you a hundred thousand dollars just off the rip but I think and I am highly advising you guys to be very, what's the word? To be very realistic with yourself and how much money you plan on actually putting into the market before you, after you learn how to trade. So this is a hundred thousand right now, but how much are you going to put in your account when you actually start trading? Is it going to be 25,000? Do you have the stomach to invest 10,000? Is it 5,000? Is it a hundred thousand? And the reason I'm saying is because you can customize this number um, to reflect what you actually think you will be able to put in the account when you actually start trading so in order to do so I'm just gonna open up if you're wondering what this is don't worry about it too much right now this is just the trade tab where you can see the options trade the options chain so I'm gonna go up here to margin account so I, can you. I right clicked and then I came down here to adjust cash. And then I'm gonna put the amount on it to reflect. So right now I have 62,000, that's my options buying power. Um, so I'm gonna put 10,000 there. All right, so let's say for example, I'm starting off trading with $10,000. I just changed my margin account to reflect that with options. 
And another thing I want to show you that you can do is you will also probably see on your account that this tab right here doesn't say real time data. It says delayed data. Now the reason being is because you're using a simulated account. Mine says real time data because I have an actual account with them. So if you act, if you open an actual account with thinkorswim, you may put $10, $100, whatever in there if you're not ready to trade live. You can put that account, that amount in there, and then that will reflect with real time data when you step back into the platform. Well, the first thing I want to show you right now is the British pound and how you can change the different time frames on the chart. So right now you're looking at a 30 minute chart and this basically shows from two weeks ago from Thursday to today, which is Wednesday. So you're able to see on a 30 minute chart, the movement of the British pound. The first thing are the candles. So right when you go to style, you can see that right now I have the chart mode on standard and then I have the chart type on Hikanashi candles. This is not what your chart is showing. What you're probably seeing right now, if you didn't customize it, is you are seeing actual candlesticks. And a lot of times people may have this debate on, you know, whether or not to use Hikanashi or candlesticks. I'm going to go straight to the basics on why we use Hikanashi and basically it's because traditional candlesticks go by the low, the high and the averages in between. But when we're talking about Hikanashi candles, Hikanashi candles basically provides you with five primary signals to identify different trends. Hikanashi candles allows you to see the trend a little bit smoother, especially when you're looking at the charts. You can see right now British pound futures, you're looking at just traditional candlesticks right now. But when I switch it to Hikanashi candles, look at this. You see, I can see the trend a little bit better. It's, it's a lot more fluid. That's the reason why we like to use Hikanashi. Now, again, you're looking at the 30 minute chart right here, but I can switch this to different time frames depending on how I'm trading and depending on the trend that I'm trying to see. So when I switch it to a daily chart, you can see this is from April of last year to April of this year. And you can customize that by coming down here to customize list. So I have a minute chart, a five minute chart, 15 minute. These are typically used for intraday trading. Then you have the ones that you can use for day trading, swing trading and position. And you can add to that as you please as well. Another thing I want to show you. So right now you're looking at British pound, but you can also do this cool thing in the thinkorswim platform where you pull up multiple charts at one time. So I can pull up the British pound and then beside it, that's the Canadian dollar. And then I'll pull up the yen down here. And then I'll pull up the Euro. So, and you can multiply this as much as you want right now. You're looking at four. You can continue to put as many charts as you want. Um, but right now I just want to show you those four main currencies, the British pound, the Canadian dollar, you got the Jap down here and you got the Euro. Now, when you look at one single underlying at a time, you're going to see that down here, we have this thing called volume. So what is volume? Volume basically represents how many contracts are being traded at that given time. So right now I'm hovering over the British pound August 16th. And as you can see down here, that thing said a hundred thousand and five hundred and seven. So just running over here to investopedia, the trading volume is the number of shares or contracts traded in a given time. So when you're looking at the options underlying stock, that volume gives you insight into the strength of the current price movement. And the reason why that's important is because we want a lot of liquidity. Therefore, we also will need a lot of volume. Now, when you're looking at open interest, because that's also written there, open interest is just the number of active contracts. So it's the data field that shows you how many contracts are being held at that particular time. The next thing that you can do is you can look at your different underlyings and you can actually create alerts. So for example, I got the British pound right here. Let me switch this on over to the Euro just to switch it on up. So I'm looking at the Euro and I'm going to look at a 30 minute chart 
And so what do we see, for example, from Friday to Wednesday, not really taking a, any consideration to the fundamentals, we see a lot of exhaustion to the upside. So let's say, for example, I want to do a bearish trade and I'm saying that, you know, I want to be notified when the euro gets to about 1.145. So I just right click and then I can put create alert single and it is basically going to it's going to let me know when the euro if it ever does gets to 1.1447 if it's at or above and you can switch this to be at or above at or below below above whatever you like you can also write a note here that says place a sell market order and so what this is going to do again is it's going to alert me when we get to that point. Now, the cool thing about the Thinkorswim platform is you can actually put in your number where you can get it directly to your phone. So it can play a sound if you're on the Thinkorswim platform and it can also send the push notification to your phone and you can put different customizations down here as well. So that's how you build alerts and that's also how you can see the volume as well as create your watch list and the time frames for these different underlines. Now this was a very brief video on just the basics of the Thinkorswim platform. There's a lot more that I have to talk about especially even when we step over to that trade tab and we start looking at the options chain. So this is going to take a little bit of a while for me to explain to you, especially when we break down the bid and the ask, the put and the call. I have some videos that breaks down what they are, but what I'm going to show you in the next video is how you can actually start putting in your first options trades as well as your first futures trades and your Forex trades and then hedging them with options. So hopefully you understand how to just start downloading the Thinkorswim platform and make sure to check out the next video where we're going to talk about the options chain as well as Fibonacci retracement levels.